lights and gentlemen, I am going to make an official announcement. I hate Kanye West. Okay. He doesn't even sound like himself. I watched him on video. If I closed my eyes and listened to him, he sounded like a white dude. He does not sound like Kanye anymore. I, I don't know what I'm listening to when I hear him talk now. I, I, I don't know what I'm listening to. Kanye recently went to the White House, met with Trump, and had dinner with him. And Jim Brown was also there. But Kanye and Trump met one-on-one. -on -one and this man just won't shut up. And he every picture now that you see Kanye in, he got on that MAGA hat too. Kanye calls himself a crazy motherfucker in the Oval Office when he was meeting with Trump, being a true asshole. And this came out October 11th, 2018. So Kanye West went to the White House and acted like a complete groupie around Donald Trump. And this meeting took place on Thursday. Kanye went to the White House and the rapper then gave what accounted to an alarming endorsement of Trump's presidency during a wide range speech. You know, cause you know, Kanye is a drama king, <laughs> okay? So anytime he opens his mouth, we know the dramatics are gonna be there. So what topics did they talk about? Crime rates in Chicago, which we know the crime is going down there, by the way. Mental health, slavery. Remember, Kanye said it was a choice. <laughs> okay, this is not the person <laughs> our community needs speaking on our behalf aerospace technology, and Unabomber. Those were the topics they spoke about. This is what Kanye says. Trump is on his hero's journey right now, West said, wearing a red MAGA hat as he was seated across from Donald Trump, okay? And <laughs> yeah, and then he called himself a crazy mf -er, which I do agree, Kanye, that's, that's exactly what you are, okay? And he gave his great support of making America great again. Kanye, I just wanna kind you, kindly remind you, your history does not show that it was great for the black community, okay? I guess you're blind to all of that when you get in front of Trump, you know, being a groupie and all of that. Kanye said the putting on the hat made him feel like Superman. So when Kanye puts on a MAGA hat, he's saying he feels like Superman. If this fool don't get the hell out of here, Do you know, he also implied that Colin Kaepernick should wear a MAGA hat? Yes, this fool went there. The lunch meeting was supposed to be about prison reform. Now, what does Kanye West know about prison reform, y'all? How did he get to be a, an expert in that subject matter, in, in any subject matter for that case? You know, and all of you that labeled this man a genius, y'all need to be bitch slapped. Kanye is far from a genius. Okay, but Wes quickly veered off topic as Trump, NFL great 
Jim Brown, because he was there too, senior advisor, Jared Kushner, her, his son-in-law, uh, Secret Service agents, and the assembled press pool looked on. In an extraordinary, mostly uninterrupted rant, because that's all Kanye does is rant. And he rambled on about being diagnosed as bipolar. <laughs> And being sleep deprived, I, I don't know, Kanye, you, you got some serious problems and you being around the Kardashians every day, I'm sure that's sending you over the edge even deeper. The rapper then offered his thoughts on the 13th Amendment, which abolished slavery in 1865. No, it didn't. It, it closed slavery and then reopened it by using prison as a means of enslaving people. So <laughs> that's all it did. Okay, so Wes said he wanted to abolish the trap door called the 13th Amendment because he said when the amendment was written, it was illegal for Blacks to read. Kanye, it was far deeper than that. It, just reading was not the only problem Black people had. Okay, and if that's the only thing you brought up, man, you don't know history. That's all I'm saying. And as far as the 13th Amendment, ladies and gentlemen, it ain't going nowhere. Just understand that. It ain't going nowhere. They're not going to go in there and change that in the Constitution. It's been there all this time. Do you ever hear any of the politicians sitting in office talking about getting rid of this amendment? You ever hear that? Enough said. They like it the way it is. You, our community, being the main ones going to jail. They like it the way it is. Okay, so here's Kanye rambling on again. That means if you actually read the amendment, you'd get locked up and turned into a slave. Wes exclaimed, clapping his hands for emphasis. At one point, West stood up and reached across the table to show Trump a picture of a hydro hydrogen powdered airplane. Okay, whatever. Which the rapper told the president ought to replace Air Force One. And then he goes on rambling incoherently and says, this is what our president should be flying in, Wes said, adding that he wants Apple to help him develop a uh, aforementioned plane. After the rapper finished his 10 minutes of running his big clueless mouth, he got up and hugged Trump as you can see in this picture. Kanye was just going over the edge with the cooning, wasn't he? Let's go on. I tell you what, that was pretty impressive, the president said. Of course he is, because Kanye is sitting there gushing all over him. And one thing Trump loves is an ass kisser. It was from the soul, Wes replied. I just channeled it. No, it was stupid. Trump's Oval Office reality show came as the death toll from Hurricane Michael climbed to six. I last heard seven, but you can expect that to go up. You know, a storm like that is going to take out quite a few people, especially if they did not. Um, leave, plain and simple. 
Wes, who has become one of Trump's most outspoken supporters, stirred controversy in his appearance on NBC Saturday Night Live last month when he wore once again his MAGA hat during his performance and delivered a pro-Trump speech to the studio audience. In an interview with Fox and Friends earlier Thursday, Trump claimed that when Wes first expressed support from him, his poll numbers went up like 25%. Don't even sweat that, ladies and gentlemen. Trump has been exaggerating his poll numbers since he's been in office. It's unclear what polling data the president was referring to exactly. I promise you, he is inflating that number. Kanye is not influencing people like that. He's not. According to the most recent Gallup poll, Trump's job approval rating stands at 43%. While 53% of African Americans, which we know disapprove of him, most do. Gallup found just 10% of African Americans uh, approve of the job that he's doing. 10% out of all of us, that's nothing. That's nothing. So he's really not getting that many black people to support him at all. That's nothing, y'all. This is what Trump is now saying. I like him a lot, Trump said, of West in that, in that interview. He's been a friend of mine. I've known him for a long time. He's a very different kind of guy. I say that in a positive way, this is Trump running his mouth, but he is a different kind of guy. You notice he said that twice? No, he isn't. If Trump go, uh, let me let me tell y'all something. If Kanye pull another stunt like he did on Taylor Swift, they'll turn on him again. You notice the only reason why they are conveniently forgetting about the Taylor Swift thing that they were harping on for a long time is because he is supporting Trump. So now they are backing off of him. But let him do it again. I promise you, he'll be scum again. And they'll be turning on him again. And you must learn, never join the people that once turned on you before. Once they show their hand of turning on you, there's no going back. And Kanye, you are a disgrace. Just looking at these pictures, they are shameful. I don't support you at all, nor will I support you in the future. I don't care what albums you put out. I don't care if you put 10 of them out tomorrow. I ain't buying none of them. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.